CBS News, NBC News, ABC News, nationally, CNN, all picked it up on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I had figured out by Sunday of last week, uh, now seven days ago, that this was an important story. So I uh, decided to go Tuesday, got on an airplane Wednesday morning, Wednesday afternoon, and flew out uh, to Billings, Montana. From there, I drove to the little town of 3,500 people, Hardin, Montana, that borders the Crow Indian Nation Reservation. What am I talking about? American Police Force, a shadowy group run by a 14-time convicted Serb national felon who goes his latest alias. No one really knows his real name. Just has all these convictions and warrants nationwide. Seriously, no one knows the guy's real name. Uh, he just has the convictions and prison time under different names for grand theft, you name it, uh, is Captain Michael Hilton. And he showed up in a police uniform with black SUVs, black uh, Mercedes SUVs with the hardened police on the side. Didn't matter if that was illegal. Impersonating a police officer was illegal because he was in with the local boss hogs and they were going to take over the giant $27 million FEMA camp. Uh, it was being looked at a year ago to hold Guantanamo uh, detainees. Uh, but now they were looking at just basically holding locals. This is the new economic development uh, in our country is presence and surveillance and control. And uh, the locals, uh, the, that is the local constabulary, thought that it was completely normal to have a foreign uh, felon running things. And I talked to some of the locals this week when I was there, and they said, oh, we don't care if he's a felon. We don't care. Let him run the, the, the prison and, you know, basically let him feed on locals and put everybody in the jail. I mean, what's 450 beds, bare minimum, that facility had, 450 beds of a town of 3,500. I guess in Texas, Texas is the capital of prisons worldwide. We've got over 10% of Texans with uh, warrants out for their arrest now. So why not? Why not put everybody in prison? Hell, put half of us in prison. The other half will run things. I mean, that is the New World Order plan. But the issue here isn't just that you have this felon, this mercenary tied in with all these other shadowy groups doing this. It's that when we first reported this last week, people didn't believe us. Now it's on the national news. And uh, the Billings Gazette was very, very fair and said that we were right, that he was a felon and a criminal, and it was all a big fraud and a scam. The local paper said, we love him. We love the captain. And I talked to locals. They admitted that he struts around in a police uniform and drives around in police vehicles and that they were about to do a contract to have his private group arresting people and putting them in the prison. Now, the majority of the locals I talked to on the ground said, look, they want to put us in this prison for petty reasons and to fine us and fee us, and this is a big money maker for the locals that run this town. But when I would go into the shops and the sheriff's department and the, e and the economic development zone, they call it the Port Authority, the Two Rivers group, when I would talk to their people, they just loved it. And they said, it's no big deal to have a felon with warrants out for his arrest running the, 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 the jail. And, yes, we do want to plan mercenaries there, train them there, and we do plan to do that. And, yes, uh, all of this is going on. All of this is happening. And, yes, we're going to put people from all over the county, Bighorn County, in the prison. And, yes, it's going to make us money. What's wrong with that? And it wasn't just that the, the, that the leadership of the town was so immoral, by and large, and I talked to scores of them. That wasn't the big uh, issue. I mean, that's bad enough. It was that even after I explained to them that he wasn't making the payments of the $2.6 million he's supposed to pay a year to run the private prison, and when I pointed out that his backers were pulling out and that all these different defense contractors said it was a fraud and they weren't involved, they would just shake their head and say, no, it's real. We haven't been conned by the captain. And it reminded me of the American people. I mean, this was a microcosm of everything that's happening in this country. The American people don't want to admit that foreign banks have taken over the nation through fraud, through deceit, and are bankrupting us by design to vertically integrate our society. 
to consolidate our society and bring in a police state that they own and manage and control. This, this is corporate looting. By and large, people don't want to admit that they have been conned. And so this Captain Michael Hilton, one of 17 aliases, CBS News now reports nationally, this Captain Michael Hilton, now, now, mind you, once it came out that these were aliases, he was fake, he was a fraud, he was a liar, he wanted to feed on the locals and basically throw everybody in prison. There's CBS News, National News, American Police Force Corporation takes over small town police force and prisonerless jail. See, that's CBS. We reported this on Monday, people laughed at us. But that's why I went there to document it. But this is a microcosm of our nation because locally in a town in southern Montana, a guy blows in with police cars painted up to say Harden, and everybody just falls down and worships him. And it's the same thing in Texas. CNN's made a lot of hay out of this. They always expose a little local corruption to make themselves look good. They never cover the real high-level corruption. We do both. That's what separates us from the mainstream media. But you hear about the Texas towns right outside Austin, they've got them, where they just pull old ladies over, young men, black men, white men, they don't care, and they say, I'm going to take the 500 out of your wallet, and I'm going to take your watch, and... If you don't like it, I'm going to charge you with narcotics trafficking. Now, sign this piece of paper saying you've agreed to me to take this. Now, of course, it's fraud. You can't, under duress, make somebody sign something, but these crooks don't care. Now, what do you think happens in some tiny town of 150 people? You will get a local county commissioner who lives there, and he'll get together with his brother or his cousins, and they'll pass a resolution. They'll... They'll, they'll get the local town, the, the locals in the little town that didn't even incorporate it, to go get incorporated with the state. They'll fill out some paperwork. They just get some police cars and drive out and start robbing people. It's real simple. So that's the same thing in Hardin. I found out they have a very corrupt uh, sheriff's department, classically corrupt feeding on the public. It's the same deal. And by the way, the sheriff's department said they love it. They love the captain. And uh, the locals, again, the, the entire boss hog leadership, we even had them run out of stores and push on us and scream at us and yell at us. Now, again, the majority of locals supported us, and we had fans everywhere, and I was getting stopped on every street corner. But then you'd have boss hogs come out of their shops. You know, anybody who has a pot to you-know-what in, they see themselves as elitist. And that's how this whole system works nationwide. They would run out and shove all my cameramen and tell us we weren't allowed to be on Main Street and get the hell out of our town, you foreign Yankees, basically. And I would say to them, okay, let's say I'm a dirty Yankee from Texas. I'm a carpet bagging, scallywag in your business. I would say this to them. I got this on video. And I would say, but it's okay to have a guy from Montenegro, Balkans, over in Serbia, who's a felon over here. And they said, hell yeah, we like him. We're going to make money. I mean, they were on power trips in front of me looking at, because of this Two Rivers Authority, this Economic Development Authority, with all these different city council people and people running for mayor and their husbands. And, you know, you'd have the lady running for mayor whose husband was on the board of the Two Rivers Authority, and he ran out of the shadows at us on Main Street and pushed Aaron. We've got that on video. I mean, it's the Twilight Zone. And it's the same thing all over the country, from Schenectady, New York, uh, to Oakland, California. It's just mafia. They put on uniforms. You fall down and worship them. So why not have some con artist show up in a police uniform, take over a FEMA camp, and say he's going to put the locals in it? And, of course, the boss hogs locally love it. They said, hell, yeah, we're really going to rule now. I'm going to make me some money off the locals. And I'm going to be the boss. Because all the local constabulary were going to be boss hogs in the new prison that could hold roughly 20% of the town. They love it. And that's what's bringing America down is parasites.